When I launched Rough Animator this morning, I realized that there was a new version out, specifically version 2.05, and I've been running 2.01. So I wanted to take a look at uh, the new improvements and see what's different in this new version. On today's episode of the Expat Animator. So specifically, uh, we see improved line smoothing stabilization. Uh, normally, I only use line stabilization with like one or two. Uh, I don't like it smoothing out my lines that much, um, but we'll take a look at that. Uh, numeric inputs for layer opacity. That's, that's interesting because we've always had that little slider. Transform handles don't appear until you finish drawing the selection shape. So it's easier to see what you're selecting. Now I think uh, I'm going to like this and I'll show you why uh, in a second. And compiled for Apple Silicon, that's important for me because I just have, I just got that new Mac Mini M1. So it seemed to have ran okay. Uh, I never really noticed any problems before, but it'll be nice to have it uh, made specifically for the M1 chip. And then a bug fix with copy pasting from a project with a different resolution that got stretched. Uh, I haven't noticed that, but um, I'm not really copying and pasting from different projects. So let's take a look at a couple of these here. Um, in numeric inputs for layer opacity, let's take a quick look at that. So let me just switch over to Rough Animator. I've got a project open. So right now I'm still in version 2.01. Uh, and to show you, Here's the, the opacity slider, and there's no numerical values. And the other thing is uh, that we talked about was when you select an image, see as, as I'm selecting, it's giving us all of these um, points that are, or little boxes around the outline. And even when I select it, it's okay to have them when I select it, but as you're drawing it, you kind of don't want to see those. And so that's probably going to go away when I update. And uh, the other thing, uh, the first thing was line stabilization. Let's take a quick look at that. So let me just grab my brush. Um, see down here in smoothing in the tool options, I've got mine set to two. I usually don't want it too much higher than that because when I draw a line, usually the faster I go, the smoother it is. And if I'm drawing real slowly, then you can see once I let go, it kind of snaps it a little bit. Just a little bit, that's the smoothing. If I throw that down to zero, let's take a quick look. And you're gonna get all that hand jitter and it's not gonna smooth it as, at all. So let's try to uh, take smoothing all the way up as high as it'll go, which is, is seven. And then I try and draw an unsmooth line here. And when I let go, you'll see it kind of snaps into a nice smooth line. So. Like I said, normally I usually keep smoothing around one or two. Um, so there's gonna be improvements in that in the next version of Rough Animator. So I'm gonna go ahead and update my Rough Animator right now and let's see what the improvements actually look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. It's only about 10 megabytes. So let's do a restall. I'm not gonna save that. I'll just reopen a new project here and let me check to make sure I got the new version 2.05 yep okay so let me just import that image real quick here and let's try this again so you can already see here uh, the layer opacity is showing 100%. It's not showing that slider anymore. So that's interesting um, because I actually, a lot of times I like to just drop it down to 50%. And in the past, I was having to kind of eyeball where that was. So I think that's, I'm going to like that. Let me try 25%. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and look, you can even um, grab the line in between the white and the gray here and and it's working like the slider used to work. So I actually do like this better. Uh, this is pretty cool. So that's interesting. Let me go back to 100. And let's check out the uh, the line smoothing here. Let's, let's drop it to zero. 
And I'm going to use my pen here and just do a couple of lines that should show my handshake and not straighten that out at all. And let me go all the way up to, oh, look at that. We're going beyond seven here. So that's interesting. Looks like I might be able to go do the same trick and grab the line here. And it looks like we can go all the way up to 100. So that's a big improvement, hopefully. Let's, let's draw a real wavy line here. And then when I let go, yeah, that's really smoothing that out. Let me... That's interesting at 100. I don't think I would ever use that. Let's try 50 here, about half. So it's weird. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a black trail as I'm drawing my line that's kind of smoothing this out as I go. It's interesting. So this is definitely working differently than before. Let me try knocking it back down to two. I'm almost thinking two's going to not do much anymore. So I might have to readjust my line smoothing. So I think the lower you go on this, you're not seeing that trail. It's almost like it's smoothing it as you're drawing it, the higher you go here. Um, interesting. So I might have to find a new smoothing number that I like. Um, but there's definitely a lot more to choose from than before. And let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the selection tool. So there we go. As I'm drawing, see the difference? There's not putting those, um, those squares around the corners of the selection tool. So that's, it is cleaner. And then let's look, when I drop it, it should throw those transform buttons, uh, boxes on there, and it does. So that's pretty cool. That's actually a good improvement that I think will just clean up the interface a little bit. I think that was about it. Um, it's supposed to run better on my M1 Mac Mini here, so uh, I'll let you know if I'm having any crashes or anything. But so far, looks uh, looks pretty good. Zoom in, zoom out. Uh, no real issues here. Let me just see if I can do a save real quick. And no problem saving the file. So overall, uh, I like the changes. So it's good to see this program that I really like getting better. Uh, again, I just, I'm not the guy who makes um, Rough Animator. I just like to use it. And it's a very powerful animation program for the cheap price of right now, it's about $5. So that's a, a look at Rough Animator's version. Oh, that's interesting. Well, there was a crash, so let's see if it's going to give me a crash warning here. Hmm. Interesting. So hopefully this is a stable release, and let me just reopen a project here. And try this again, about rough animators where it crashed on me. So that's interesting. Um, and maybe this is a problem with the new recompiled version for the M1 Max. So let's try this one more time here. Rough animator, about rough animator. 2.05. So let's try it one more time and see if it crashes. Yeah, that's weird. So if I do it twice, it seems to crash. But that shouldn't really be a big problem right now because I'm never really checking that. But uh, it's interesting that that's happening. But I'm going to keep using this um, in the next few days, and I'll let you know if I see any other issues. But for the most part, um, Rough Animate is really stable for me, so I'm not too worried about it. And the drawing and importing and saving that I've been doing hasn't seemed to have been an issue. So... So if you like 2.05, uh, I'd say go ahead and get it. Um, besides that crash, you know, who, who checks the about version that often? So that crash shouldn't really be a big issue. So thanks for joining me today. My name is Patrick Davidson, the expat animator, and I'll see you next time.